I'd like to share with you a simple experience I had when I was a little boy. You know, the most anticipated time for me in December is of course Christmas and December 8th, which is the birthday of my mama and also our town fiesta. And you know, fiesta, for a boy growing up in the province, this was the big, big event. Kasi, life was difficult, but during the fiesta, ba, mayroon yung mga cotton candy, may mga konting popcorn dyan, may mga celebration. And after the Mass, after the Mass, from the church, that was the time when I could ask my mama two things. Ice cream and balloon. Parang entitled ka kasi birthday nga, tapos fiesta pa. Mama, ice cream and balloon. Life was hard, but mama somehow said, it's okay, sige, bibili kita. This was a big treat. And I remember one time, I was e eating my, balloon, I, my ice cream, and the balloon nakawala. He was going up and up, and I was crying. My balloon, my balloon. I was crying and crying. And then I heard Mama say, Jerry, it's okay. You still have your ice cream. You better eat it now. It's already melting. Look, it was a simple experience. I lost something. But Mama told me, Jerry, you still have your ice cream. It's there. And you better eat it now because it's just melting and melting. What is the lesson I like us all to learn? There are many things in life that somehow wala na or nawala. Instead of focusing on the could have been and the should have been and should be in your life that are no longer there, Focus on what you still have and be grateful and don't waste all these blessings you have because you're looking at something that's gone. Reminder po sa ating lahat during this time of pandemic, difficult time, mga raming bagay na nawawala sa atin. But if you focus on what is missing and you forget your blessings, then you lose even these blessings which you have. And one of the greatest blessings, mga kapatid, we have is life itself. We are still alive. And thank God you're healthy. Yes, health is wealth. And whatever work you have, no matter how humble you have work, it's time for us to forget about big big dreams and the could have been and the should be's the big tomorrow and the glorious yesteryears what we have what we have only is now this present moment so people who are working focus on the work that is given to you and try your best excel and do your best and that's your best offering uh, to the world, to yourself, to your family, and to God. This is Father Jerry Orbas, SVD from the Philippines, joining you happily to be a part of your 500 years Christianity in the Philippines celebration in uh, Toronto, Canada. Thank you for being such uh, dedicated Catholics and for being so aware of your mission. Before anything else, I would like us to start with a prayer to the Holy Spirit. 
we bow our heads and I would like to begin and pray, come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may share with love, with humility, and from the heart, not just with the lips. And bless all those who listen, to listen with their hearts and not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit. And as we bow before you this moment, O oh God, you know each one of us. You know what we are going through. We like to offer to you, O oh God, our praise and adoration, gratitude, and beg your mercy upon us in this world so so much in the darkness of COVID-19. Pray, heal our land, heal our world, and heal our families. We give praise and glory to you, God. I would like to consecrate our families. All members of our family, living or dead, present or absent, especially those who need healing, physical healing, those who are going through pain or sickness or suffering. We pray for our loved ones who are going through emotional burdens. We may mga pinagdadaanan, those who have become so sad or even depressed filled with hopelessness and we'd like to pray for spiritual healing for all of us. Lord, remove us from the darkness of sin. Remove the bad habits, the bad attitudes. Set us free, Holy Spirit, that we can truly become a light. God be the glory. Come, Holy Spirit. And dear Mama Mary, our dear mother, you are our mother. Stay with us, Mama Mary. We offer this in the name of the most powerful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. So, dear friends, you know, it was my mama who taught me to pray before any talk or before I write anything. Mama always told me and Papa too, he pray to the Holy Spirit in Germany. And that is so important. And perhaps that's what I'd like to tell you, dear friends, if there's anything, parents, you who are out there, in a different culture. Make sure that this gifted to give mission starts in the family. The local church, that's where it all begins. And what is it that you can give to the children, the grandchildren, the community, the greater community? The first thing that we should not forget that our best gift is the gift of prayer. I'm starting with the family, the family that prays together, stays together. Look at your family. Mm, is your relationship not very strong? or maybe very fragile, things break up. Maybe it's because you have stopped praying together as a family. 
it starts with giving the gift of prayer, the prayer life. If I may speak on a very personal matter, something very close to you there. I have an uncle who lived in Toronto, Scarborough. I remember the street called Cold Park Drive. Chuban, Munoz, and Chabet. And I'm so inspired. The times I visited them, and you know, what I saw was a family that was so prayerful. The four growing up children, beautiful kids. Family Rosary at night. I, I was so inspired, edified. And before meals, after dinner, taking time, talking with each other, uh, talking about the Bible, have piano, music. So this was for me a very inspiring picture of a family that moved to Canada and continued to pray. And not only that, you became involved in their parish. And not only that, I suppose and I know the children got involved with their classmates, went to college, university, spreading, spreading the faith. And it all starts with prayer. Well, as you may have heard how I've always shared this, Mama and Papa always taught us to, to pray. You know, Ilocano, Papa would say, Agdualo kayo laan, Jerry, agdualo ka laan. And Mama in Pangasinan would say, Ay, Jerry, anako, nandasan kayo laan, nandasan kayo laan. It will be okay. I grew up with the thought that, hey, with a firm conviction that there's somebody greater. And that this world, lahat ng nangyari sa mundong ito, there is somebody who sees it all, knows it all, and this is so important. I can imagine the challenge you have in this culture, gadgets, and all. But keep telling them the story. Keep telling them the good news. It will stick. Maybe they'll find some things of these things, some of things corny or what. Never mind. Just keep telling your message. And the Desiderata says, speak your truth quietly and clearly. That's it. The gift of prayer. Number two, gift. Gifted to give is the gift of presence. May your presence make a difference. It starts in the family again. Are you present to each other? Oh, well, one good thing about this pandemic, people are saying is, well, at least now families are coming closer together. Because they stay, they have to stay with each other. Um, lockdown. Sabi nga ng iba wow, father, I'm now a POW. You know, this husband was saying, I, I said, you're a prisoner of war? Mm, no, father. I have become a prisoner of wife. <laughs> well, you can joke about it, but hey, the presence makes a difference. And, um, you know, somebody said, success outside the home cannot compensate for failure inside the home. And not just physically present to be really present, which simply is this. 
you have to talk, you have to listen to each other. And ask, oh, kumusta ka na, anak, how are you? You ask your husband, how are you doing? You ask your wife, oh, kumusta ka na? And listen, please. Don't presume that things are okay. Ah, everything's okay, Father. No, 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 no. You really listen, please. Are you really listening to each other? This is the time when you say, I'm here. I am with you. As the Holy Spirit is present with us, as the Lord told us, I will be with you always. And now in the pandemic, I will be with you always and in all ways. It's amazing how, uh, well, social media has made me become present to so many people all over the world. That's God's presence. The other thing is, what kind of a presence are you? Okay, what presence are you? Are you a what? Happy presence? Are you an angry presence? Are you a threatening presence? Sana, your presence more is something that is really a present. It's a gift. In other words, you, your presence makes a difference. Somebody said there are people who give joy whenever, wherever they are present. And there are people among who give joy when, when they are no longer present. Not that kind of presence, huh? Please check it out. What kind of a presence are you? Be present, please. And third, the presence should overflow. When people see, oh, Filipino, they're always happy, joyful. <laughs> I think even Pope Francis was telling us, you're such a joyful presence everywhere you go, all over the world. That's a gift. We're sharing joy. The world is so serious. Here in the Filipinos, always happy and smiling. Pero kung kwento, tourists, you know, in Rome, they saw this piata. Mama Mary with the body of the, her dead son, the piata. Wow. An Englishman saw this, the Englishman said, So the French man came, magnifique. Spaniard came, wow, they were at Mandy. So odd. Eto na, dumating mga Pilipino. They went to the Pita. Picture, picture, picture. You yeah, know, happy na lang. <laughs> Maybe that's what we are. Maybe for, for some people, we are fools in this world. But hey, we're okay. God is, God is good in view. I was talking about being present, huh? And you know, in your community, wherever you are, people are observing you. So let's make sure you become witnesses. It's what the Lord said, go to the whole world and be my witnesses. And when people see you, they remember God people see you or hear you, they're reminded of about this God. Please don't forget humble presence, joyful and humble presence. You can't go wrong. Yeah. And the third, be gifted to give, that we can really give is participation. We participate. We get involved. You know, it's so easy to be in your comfort zone. Just, you know, 
But hey, there are people who perhaps just a smile from you, a word of encouragement, each of the different for them. Don't underestimate what you can do for other people in your own simple, joyful, humble way. Okay? So the three P's, prayer, presence, and participation. Very good, and I'm very happy that while it's not easy to be a witness to the Lord, you can be also persecuted. You can experience being, uh, well, even discriminated. Blessed are you when people insult you or hurt you or speak ill against you for my name, in my name. Blessed are you. So you po, um, what I would like to ask you on to persevere and not to give up till the very end. Okay, so family, please check your family also today again. May I ask you to check what is the mark of a good family, okay? The first mark of a good family is it's a family that is close to God. Close to God. You take time really, you know, to go to Mass, together, or the rosary, etc. Number two, it's a family that is close to itself. Aha, it is a little difficult. You're all busy, work, work, work. And some of us sometimes, no more time for each other. Make time, please, make time. And number three, a good family is a family that is close to the people. What does it mean? Because there are people, uh, families that are close to God, prayerful, close to one another, cozy, cozy, nice, nice. But they are unreachable. They don't share their blessings to people. Just them. Kulang kuya. May you continue to share your blessings. Somebody said too, take note of this. When God raises your standard of living, make sure you also raise your standard of giving. Be generous. Something I learned from Papa and Mama again. You know, we were living in, in Bani, Pangasinan, growing up. Hard life. No electricity, gravel roads. Life was poor. But I remember Papa and Mama would say, especially when they're beggars, they would come and up the house. They all said, always told us, Jerry, oh, you look anything we can give to them. You look anything. And we had some money, they encourage us, you know, give. And if you have no money, Papa, maybe we'll get a coin, put it in my hand, and say, Jerry, I'm going to give it. And he holds my hand. He taught me to be generous. That's why when I see people, I experience it. I hear a father say, there's somebody asking for money. I think, oh, don't give, don't give. No, 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 don't give. You don't know, don't give. Fine. Many of you are teaching your children to be nice with the ways of the world. But are you teaching them Yeah, please remember this. Kindness, generosity. People will forget how rich you are, how intelligent you are, how eloquent you are, how famous you are, how good looking you are. They will forget that. But people will never forget kindness from you. Moments when you were there, you reached out. Not only time, talent, and treasure, but they felt they were important. You made a difference, in other words. Yeah, that's interesting. Please remember to live not only 
successful lives, but meaningful lives. Many of you have come a long way, have done good. Materially, you're comfortable. Ah, but are you living a meaningful life? Successful life in Yan ang successful, umamak ka, sumikap ka, napag-aaral mo, successful. Okay, but is your life meaning? I mean, did you make the difference? Well, life, they say, it's not about making money or making pain. It's making money. Please make a difference wherever you are. And stand for your faith. Stand for your God. That's what your life is all about. That's why God put you there. You are missionaries sent by the Lord with a message, with a mission. I spent four years as a missionary in Korea. You know, in Korea, and daming mga Koreano to. <laughs> Please don't forget to be joyful. Because joy is one of the best messages that we can bring. We are joyful givers. Yes. Uh, ano bang atmosphere ng buhay? Check ka. Joyful ka ba o sorrowful? <laughs> Glorious or glorious. It's my joy. And it's not easy to leave home, country, and family. You know, you live behind the familiar shores. You venture to go out there. The only thing you must never forget is what the Lord said. I'm sending you. Don't forget. I am with you always. The Holy Spirit. And uh, so that's how we should always check our family. Those to God, those to one another, and those to the people. Yes, and uh, please don't forget to uh, our most important journey in this life is not just our financial journey um, or career journey. For well, many of you have come a long way. You've come a long way, baby. But please ask yourself about Baka you're still a long way from the heart of God. Taas na nalipad mo, high altitude. But you still have so many bad attitudes. Bottom line, what does it profit you and me to gain the whole world and make a mistress? Well, I'm 67, going 68 now. I went through cancer in 2018. I thought that was the end. God is good. I have recovered and I'm still cancer free with God's grace. And with the help of uh, Saint Ezekiel Moret, the same there, who healed my cancer. He was in the Philippines for 15 years, died in 1909. 15 years in Palawan, Batangas, Las uh, Pinas, uh, Cavite. He, he was in Nitor. He was also in Talisa near Papua. This saint died of cancer. He's the patron saint of cancer patients. He himself had cancer. And you know, he served the sick and the poor Filipinos. I, in my heart, I believe he should be the third Filipino saint already. Anyway, that statue of Saint Ezekiel really, you know, it started to sweat shed tears all throughout my four 
matzo, chivo, tera. Malagi may pawis. I ask him, can you care where are you, you know, shedding tears? And he was telling me, Brother Jerry, Jerry, I am with you, we go through this. After my fourth chemotherapy, I came home from the hospital. I went to pray, and I noticed no more beads of perspiration. No more and I asked him, is he care why? Uh, what's happening? He said, Jerry, you are here. And I tell people that I am here and I love the Philippines, especially the city. Try to find out more about it. What I'm saying is this look, the rest of my life, the best of my life, that should be our motto. Let's me spend the rest of my life just loving God more. Loving my family more and sharing whatever I can more. Keep that in mind. Um, you know, I pray for two things the grace to live the rest of our lives the best of our lives. Yes? Masana, our life will not just be comfortable. Or, you know, a life is just a magpayaman, magpasikat, magpayaman. No, that's, that's a very shallow life. Ang babaw naman, step on. I hope and pray that we spend the rest of our lives loving God more. Uh, we feel with service and loving people. And we feel with so much joy overflowing sharing to other people. It's the first place we'd like to pray for all of you. For all of us. And the second grace, let's pray for the grace to die a happy, holy man. You know, a lot of people are dying and it goes fast. Any one of us can go in. They're not even proper goodbyes. No, that becomes a reality. So let's pray. Sana, when the time comes for me to leave this world, Lord, please grant that I will be with you. I have been reconciled with you. I have been forgiven. The state of grace, I have also forgiven. And that I have done my mission, mission accomplished, and that I will come before you with so much love in my heart, and you will tell me, Welcome, good thing, sir. By the way, that's all you can do. And we finally meet that the love and the faith in your all that money, I'm so worried about it. So, you won't bring that. Uh, achievements, plaques, no. You, the work of your hands, and the love in your heart. Oh, there's one more thing I'd like to share with you. St. Joseph, the big trunk of departing souls. Listen to this. St. Joseph, will be there at the moment of death. He will come and fetch you and me and bring us direct to God's house. So have a devotion to St. Joseph, my dear sisters and brothers. Go to Joseph and tell him, St. Joseph, please accompany me on my final journey to God's house. Let's make a simple prayer for devotion to St. Joseph from home. We consecrate our family to St. Joseph. Yes, the patron of departing souls. And uh, bottom line, we go to heaven. 
see you in heaven. We are all tourists in this world. We can go anywhere. Our real home is to go to heaven someday. Yeah, but there are no more tears, no more pain, no more sorrow, no more goodbyes. Yes, wherever you are, and you come before the Lord someday, Lord, mission of us. The Lord will welcome so much. Uh, and please don't forget Mama Mary, our dear Mother Mary. I, I know in my heart that it's the devotion of Mama Mary that Filipinos bring everywhere, all over the world. I've been to a lot of countries, pilgrimages. Always happy to see Filipinos in the churches, praying, serving. That's us, gifted to give. Oh, that attitude should also be with us, huh? See, mga iba, alam yung attitude na lang. Wow, I'm gifted. Oh, wow, I'm so gifted. That's it, gifted. Oh, I have money, I have talent, my family is okay. Gifted, period. No, it should not be a period. Gifted, comma, to give. That's the full sentence. Okay? And some people are saying, and even both this, huh? Oh, I'm so blessed, Father, you know, or blessed, my family is this. And, okay, blessed, I'm so blessed, period. No, I'm so blessed. Come on, to be a blessing for our people. That's the way we should do it, my kapatid. So, maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Please take care, be well, stay safe. And uh, I believe, malapit nang matapos ito. Ito po ang dinamit na ito, ha? And uh, God is a God of surprises. Please don't forget that as well. So please take care of yourselves and one another. Remember, you have a mission there. Why God called you there. And let me end with a simple story. I want to share with you uh, a paper story. Let this be our lesson. What's the story of the paper? Well, we were born, we will die. All of us. All of us. Sooner or later. That's life. Ang buhay kasi parang life. Basta what is important is yung mahalaga, right? Wherever you are, you are there, and God is there. We believe in one God. This is the God we believe in. You know, this belief in God makes deep difference in our lives. If God is not in your marriage, if God is not in your family, what kind of life will you have? And because God is with us, that makes a difference. And I hope you make people, whoever you be, realize that we need God. Let's be humble. We need God. And the God we believe in is the Trinity. The other Father is the Creator of heaven and earth. The other Son is the Redeemer. Yes, who died for you. And the other Holy Spirit is our guide. That's it to go here, to go there. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Keep it simple. What are the things we should do? Why we are still alive? Number one, you love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. Don't forget that. Number two, love your neighbor. Means don't hurt your neighbor. And 
share your blessings to the universe. Start to make your own value. Number three, help yourself. Okay? Back to basics. What do we not need in our journey to life? Remove, delete, sin, and bad habits. Goodbye. You have to remove them. Otherwise, your journey will be so heavy, you might not even find your way to God's heart. Number two, ah, remove heaviness of heart. Hatred, anger, and forgiveness, whatever worry you not, goodbye. Travel light. When you do that, and you keep doing that, more and more, he becomes evident. He becomes the center. This is my prayer for the Christ become more and more present in your heart, in your home. And may he become more personal to you. This is what we proclaim. We are Christians, sent all over the world to tell the world of His love, to tell the world that there is a God who loves us, and therefore we should love His Father. To tell the world that nature is His gift for all of us, we should love Mother Nature and preserve it for the future generations. Sisters and brothers, you have a mission, and we are missionaries not mercenaries. In other words, not for the money, not for the show. Because of gratitude and love. Please take care of yourselves. And uh, someday, I hope to see you. See you soon. In the meantime, see you soon. Every Sunday, 10 a.m. we have that uh, online mass, Facebook, and YouTube. And see you in heaven. Um, not so soon. Yes, Mother <laughs> Batayo. Take care. God bless you. And Mama Mary loves you. I'd like to end with a little song. Yeah, we must sing. <laughs> we sing. We smile and we sing and we eat. In honor of Mama Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the